I'm Ray Gary, an obstetrician gynaecologist who's been working with Médecins Sans Frontières in Sierra Leone. I worked in Bo. Bo is the second city of Sierra Leone, which is a country of five million people. To be honest, the work in Médecins Sans Frontières was how I imagined as a young doctor medicine would be. Every decision was about saving lives, major challenges, absolute uh, important decisions made all the time. My first day I saw a woman bleed to death in front of me, her eyes staring as she died. I had been an obstetrician gynaecologist for 40 years and never seen this this was a very demanding role, be, uh, unexpectedly demanding for me, because in Australia, very few women die in childbirth. Very few babies are lost during the process of childbirth. This contrasts dramatically with uh, Sierra Leone, where in their life, a one in eight women stand a chance of dying, and 20% of all babies are born dead. Women in Australia, because of these very low figures, actually are looking at a designer experience. What they imagine, they want to have a, a, a fulfilling experience. They want to have a baby underwater or an elective caesarean section or construct a birth plan. In Sierra Leone, the birth plan is, please can I live and hopefully, please can my baby live. What I was experiencing was what was in the textbooks of 100 years ago, maybe 200 years ago. I was living a Victorian novel, really. The description of women in, in childbirth uh, was as it was 150 years ago. One of the nicest things that happened was the very last patient I looked after. And she was a lady who had lost three babies in succession, her only three babies, during childbirth. They were alive before she started to deliver and they died. The last day of my work, uh, this lady came in again and she had a potentially fatal condition for her baby. The cord, the baby's umbilical cord, had fallen down into a vagina in front of the baby's head. We had to do a cesarean section almost immediately. Between her arrival in the unit and my delivering the baby by cesarean section was 15 minutes. It would be very hard to do that 15 minutes in a state-of-the-art hospital here in Australia. But from the worldwide band of donation, the coordination, all the logisticians, making sure the scalpels and the anaesthetic and the drugs and the, everything had to be there and all of that effort for that little moment was focused on this one woman and her one little baby who survived. And we have some nice photographs of this lady very sleepy with her baby and a very ecstatic grandmother who was jumping around the ward. So there were good stories, nice things happened.